thank you. That's very nice of you. Right. Goodbye. Well, Manny, that was uh, Dr. Trimble from the Dahl Hospital. I could tell by the smile on Felicity's face. She had a very pleasant experience there. If not slightly mysterious. It seems the replacement for Felicity's head came to them by special delivery. Hmm. Only they didn't send for it. Oh. And uh, they can't trace the sender. Ah. <laughs> the anonymous good Samaritan. Only in this case, doubly good. Since Mr. Trimble didn't know what to charge us, he hasn't charged us anything at all. Well, it is difficult to put a price on happiness, Professor. Yeah. Jimmy, can I the cookies for Helen Butch? Yes, of course, sweetheart. Oh, don't take the whole plate. Your father has to eat as well, you know. Thank you, Nanny. Prudence, what about Felicity? She's on a diet. Oh, well, uh, aren't you going to play with her anymore? I don't have time, Daddy. Helen Butch and I are in the middle of a moonwalking. It's really fun. <laughs> well, it would seem the family unity is finally restored. It appears so, Professor. Perhaps it's time for Felicity to move on. We shall miss her. Can't say the old girl hasn't left us with some fond memories. The landlord filled a flowing bowl until it doth run over. For tonight will merry, merry be. For tonight will merry, merry be. For tonight will merry, merry be. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll be sober. <laughs> The FX domestic policy continues with a visit to charming Gull Cottage in New England. A quaint and rustic place, loaded with history, and one rather ornery dead guy. Somehow, though, he succumbs to the charms of beautiful widow Hope Lang, and they strike up quite a unique relationship. Hence the title of the show, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. It's next on FX. Oh, 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 o